Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Yale University says we're having something called climate whiplash. Wild swings and extreme weather are on the rise. The article uses what's become a fairly standard propaganda technique by climate alarmists. They made an unsupportable anecdotal claim and combined it with a picture of a fire. Never mind that there was a fire every three minutes during 1937. Every fire now is evidence of climate change. In this video, I'm not going to tackle the issue of whether or not wild swings in the weather have increased. Instead, I'm going to focus on one wild swing which occurred on January 26, 1950. Bone chilling cold and record heat are recorded. It was 125 degrees colder in Chester, Montana than it was in St. Louis, Missouri. A June and January heat wave sent records tumbling at many places in the Midwest and East. And at the same time, the Chester, Montana reading was only 9 degrees away from the coldest ever recorded in the United States. That was minus 66 at Yellowstone Park on February 9, 1933. At the other extreme, these heat records were set in the shirt sleeve weather areas. Pittsburgh was 76, the highest winter reading ever recorded there. Chicago was 67, their highest January temperature. Detroit was 66, a record for January. Springfield, Ohio 78, Cincinnati 75, Columbus 73, and Cleveland 72. The actual spread across the country on January 26, 1950 was 153 degrees. Rio Grande City, Texas was 96 degrees and Chester, Montana was minus 57. 21 states were below 0 degrees Fahrenheit. 16 states were below minus 10 Fahrenheit and 12 states were below minus 20. On the same day, 32 states were above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 23 states were above 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 14 states were above 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and Texas was 96 degrees. Incredibly, West Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Kentucky all reached 80 degrees on January 26, 1950. Tennessee and Maryland reached 79 degrees, Indiana 78, Ohio 77, New Jersey 76, Delaware 76, Missouri 75, Illinois and New York were 74 degrees. But perhaps the most impressive numbers was the range of temperatures within each state. On January 26, 1950, the hottest temperature in Texas was 96 degrees and the coldest was 4 degrees. That's a range of 92 degrees between the highest and lowest. Montana had a range of 91 degrees. Michigan reached 67 degrees and minus 18 degrees on the same day for a range of 85 degrees. Missouri had a range of 84 degrees, Indiana 81, Oklahoma 79, Arizona 76, Utah 74, Colorado 73, Arkansas 72, Illinois 72, and New Mexico 70 degrees. Much of the country had summer weather on the same day which Montana came close to setting the all-time low temperature record. That was some real climate whiplash, not the fake propaganda coming out of Yale University. We're not getting a lot of weather whiplash this January, just a lot of very cold temperatures. And I would imagine that the people in Pennsylvania would be thrilled to get 80 degree weather like they did in January 1950. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on scamsters like Yale Climate for the past 14 years. You can visit him, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.